I just look at it. You just like it? Yes. Blue and white, pretty? Yes. You know, I have a PhD for Penn State, so blue and white is nice because that's their colors, you know. <laughs> the folks from Greensboro know. Well, I went to Michigan State. Michigan State, you did? Yeah. I went to school at that other Michigan school. Oh, boo. I don't boo you. But it, has, <laughs> it has blue in it. It has blue in it, too. Michigan State and Michigan are great rivals, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But we both hate Ohio State, right? Right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, this particular piece is Asian. It's late 19th century, early 20th century import stamp. This is a faux mark and value on this piece about 10 bucks. But you like it. Oh, okay. Yeah. How about a necklace? What about some face powder? It goes on your vanity. It's a vanity plate. Sits on your dresser. And you, when you undress, right? Think of Downton Abbey. They're all dressing all those people, right? The necklace would go on the plate, right? And then a maid servant would come and basically swoop it away and put it back in storage until the next time. That Lady Mary wanted to buy some, wanted to wear something. How'd you acquire it? Can you speak into the top of the microphone loudly? I inherited it. Okay. So this particular piece is also a piece, Theodore Haviland for Limote, very, very high quality ceramic porcelain, value on the plate, $175. I got that as a birthday gift from my aunt, and she was going to throw it away okay. once she cleaned out her basement. Okay, so she said you could have it. She knew I liked Gone with the Wind, so she gave it to me. So you like Gone with the Wind? I love Gone with I the Wind. I appraised it. Gone with the Wind, first edition, signed by Margaret Mitchell, the book, $61,000. Oh, well, I had version. a Gone with the Wind book someone gave me, and I sold it, I sold it on eBay for $80. $80? Oh, yes. Okay. This particular piece, if you got $80 for this piece in my hand, you would be doing very well. Really? Really. Here's why. These are made in large, large numbers. They're a limited edition, but in fact, a limited edition of tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. They limit the edition, but there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Remember, any time that they mass produce something and they do the edition in large numbers, it's not worth that much. Yeah. This piece is worth anywhere between $20 and $25. All right. Okay. Now, but it falls into multiple categories. Mm -hmm. So it attracts people who like Gone with the Wind. It attracts people who like collectible plates. Mm -hmm. It attracts people who like particular types of ceramic, right? Mm -hmm. All the way through. But value on this one about twenty-five to thirty-five dollars. Still a nice gift. Yeah. You a married person? No, no, she's single. So she may accept objects from gentlemen. <laughs> Royal Dalton, very nice. Just this one or a whole set? What does that mean, different kinds? Did you get a whole set of this pattern or just this one? Just this one of this pattern. Okay. Royal Dalton is, of course, the great um, English uh, pottery manufacturing firm. You'll notice that this is 22 karat gold banding all the way around the sides. And then it is all hand, actually hand colored. Pretty nice. Date for it, 1920, 1925. Value on it, 75 bucks. So, where is this man? <laughs> is he still around? Are you friends? Oh, he's still around. Oh, interesting. Plate? Yeah. Uh, it's my mother. It's your mother. Is she from Reading? Yeah. Berks County? Uh, Lewisburg. Lewisburg, yeah. Union County. Uh, okay. But I think but. they acquired it in a sale. You think they got it in a sale? Yeah, she couldn't recall. Oh. 87. I couldn't really recall exactly when or where they got it. I'll tell you a really quick story about folks when they can't recall. Elsie, my mother, Carl, my father, 94 and 93, died last year in February and May of Alzheimer's, both of them. When I, my father would talk in a loop, made me nuts because he was so blank and smart. Same. So smart. He'd do the loop. If I brought my father as a Major League Baseball player in the 40s with Phil Rizzuto, when I brought my father one of his baseballs, I said, Dad, show me how to throw a curve. He could explain it completely, hardwired, how to throw the curve if the ball is in his hand. Once the ball's out of his hand, the loop starts again. Try to do that if you are a caregiver or if you're near someone who has memory care issues. Try to get an object near them. The fact that she can't remember it is fine. Here's what, I, here's what she might be able to remember. Oh, we used to use that at Easter. Oh, no, 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 no. Sometimes the objects will actually, this might not be the object that does it. You've got to try another object. Sometimes the objects actually will do that for you. This is made in Berks County near Reading. This piece dates to about 1885 to about 1895. When she bought it, it might have been $400. Today, it's probably worth $200. Okay. Nice. 
Now, up in a cabinet, no microwave, no dishwasher, none of that good stuff. Depends on how much. You know where I'm going. If you all know where I'm going because you've all been here with me before. If you say a million dollars, I'll jump off there. Okay. All right. Mean doesn't necessarily mean it's valuable. It just means it's old. Right? Because you're all thinking of that news story when, oh, you know what? Uh, there was somebody making Chinese food in some restaurant. They were using the Ming bowl. Remember that news story? They're using the Ming bowl for the waste. You know, you're going, oh, it's Ming. Yeah, okay. It's old, right? But lots of things are old. I have junk in my house. It's not old. My grandmother had junk in her house. That's old. Sometimes it's older junk. Is this a high quality piece? No. This is a piece of everyday utilization. It's used all the time. But when it's older, we start to go crazy with it. You know, you think of a Greek vase. Greek vases were like their Tupperware. Okay? They used it all the time for everything to store everything. But we go, ooh, it's a Greek vase, we get crazy. Yeah, well, it's the 5th century AD, the 4th century AD, the 4th century BC. You're sitting there going, well, it's really, really old. Okay, old Tupperware is worth more than newer Tupperware. <laughs> but still, it's used for particular reasons. This particular piece does date to the Ming period. There's a mark on the back that says it's Ming. The way in which it's Ming says it's Ming. Okay, in terms of value, it's probably worth about $500. Because it isn't a high quality, high decoration, it isn't very well made. But it's still quite old, right? And it is made by a particular culture that was very good at creative processes like this. So, about 500 bucks. So it was a gift. So now, since it was a gift, do you want your $500 back? I mean, I'm sorry, do you want to get your $500 back? Or are you just saying, oh, I'm going to put it back on the wall? What made you bring this gift? Here to get a value on it. Could you please talk to my wife about all that? <laughs> I'm talking to you. I don't know, all you Texas men are kind of sissies. Talk to my wife, talk to my wife. We got the blade about 20 years ago. Okay, as a gift. Yes. You don't really care what it's worth, right? No. 